what's called a, a balloon payment with no, no payments ahead of time. So unlike a, a normal car company who makes you pay every single month, by the way, it, when that happens to you, when, when you pay monthly for your car, they, they take the amount of principal you paid, the amount of interest you paid, and they, they recalculate it every single month. Uh, you have a, a different, slightly different proportion that's going to the principal and to the interest. Right? That, that's how mortgages work as well. We're going to do things a little bit simplified. We're going to say, just how much overall money would you have to spend for this if you made no payments to the very end? So you go in today, you buy your car. They say, you're getting charged this much interest compounded monthly for five years. Just do this. At the end of five years, come in and pay us all the money. Okay, that's, that's what we're doing here. We're not going to be paying by the month. So you buy a car for 25 grand, 5.25% compounded monthly for a period of five years. We need to identify every one of these letters. So A is what we're looking to find. Can you tell me what your P is? What's your principal here? Good. The one never changes, and the plus never changes. Now inside of there, you get a fraction. On the top of your fraction is your interest rate. What's your interest rate? 5.25. So you need to calculate that, though, as a decimal. Are you going to put 5.25 up here? No. 0. 0. 0. 0.05. 0. 0.05. Oh, that's important. You better know how to do that. 0. 0.0525. Are you guys okay with the 0. 0.0525? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay. If you put 5.25, that's 525% interest. You, no one's going to pay 525%. That's ridiculous. All right. So the point zero five two five that means five and a quarter percent interest. Now the the other important one is the number of compounds. If you read through the problem carefully, it'll, it'll tell you in there somewhere how much compounds you have. What's the key word here for compounds? Monthly. 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 What's your n? Twelve. Your n is twelve. <coughs> you don't have to do any calculation. It'll do it for you. You just got to figure out monthly. 12. So our n is the number of compounds, look at that, per year. So if it's monthly, that's how many compounds per year. You don't have to put 60, you don't have to do the calculation and figure out you're getting 60 total compounds, it doesn't matter, It'll, this will do that for you. 12 right there. Also, you'll notice this, look at the, the formula, 12 goes in two spots here, do you guys see it? As the exponent, it also is 12 times the number of years that you have, that's where those compounds get multiplied, okay? What's the number of years that you got? Okay. I need to be real, real comfortable with that formula. Are you okay that 25,000 goes there? Yeah. 0 0.0525? Yeah. How about the 12? Yes. And then times 5. You all clear on, on where that's coming from, yeah? Here's how you calculate this. If you don't do it this way, you're probably going to have to round. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this on your calculator. So take your calculators out. The first thing you do, the first thing you do, is you do this exponent, and that's the only number you'll have to write down. After that, everything's done in one step. So do 12 times 5, and write it off to the side, or memorize it. That's going to be 60. So you memorize 60. Now clear your calculator. Follow me exactly what I'm going to tell you to do right now. You're going to work from the inside out, and here's what you're going to do. Start with 0 0.0525. You see where that's coming from in the formula, yeah? yeah? Remember, follow me exactly. Put 0 0.0525, press divided by 12, and press equals. Now leave it alone. You got that? Yeah. Now add 1. Press equals. You should have something like 1.004375. Do you all have that? Yes. Yeah. Now you have to do to the exponent. So take to the 60th power. The to the button looks like this, or looks like this, or looks like this. It's one of those on your calculator. It's either a caret or x to the y. X to x two. X two. No, not square. Or You're not squaring it. Y or y to the x. Y to the x. Or this. It's one of those four. Oh, okay. Okay. Can you press that? You still have this on your screen, right? Yeah. yeah. Now press one of these buttons. Yeah. Now press 60. 60. And, and now press enter and leave it. 
Do you have something up there? Yeah. Should be one point something. One point two nine nine four. Good. Now with that on the calculator, press times twenty five thousand. Press enter and then leave it. How much did you get? Thirty-three thousand two hundred thirty-two thousand four hundred eighty-five and eighty-one cents. Wait, wait, wait! Hang on. You got this? Yeah. Yeah. Point what? Eight zero. No. Eight eight zero six. Okay, you have to round appropriately. So if you have point eight zero six, that means you're gonna have eighty one cents. Eighty one. Eighty one. How many people are able to get that if you had a calculator? Good. You're now able to calculate compound interest in one step. So here's what this says to you. If you went and bought your car for $25,000, made no payments whatsoever for five years, neglecting any, you wouldn't have late fees if they give you this deal, you'd owe them $32,485.81 at the end of those five years if it's compounded monthly. Would you raise your hand if you're okay with this so far? Good. Now I want you to do one more experiment with me. A lot of people think that monthly interest and daily interest are, are very different. What I'd like you to do is change this problem just slightly. Let's say that the car company said, okay, no longer is it compounded monthly, it's now compounded daily. We're doing the same problem, just different. That's, the, that's what I'm having you do right here. Let's, let's look at that together. Is this gonna change, folks? No. no. Is this gonna change? No. Is this five gonna change? Yes. The five? Yes. No. no. Is the 12 going to change? Yes. 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 What's the 12 going to become? 365. Notice how if you change it in one spot, you got to change it in two spots. Are you with me on that? Yes. Now, what I'd like you to do is go through on your own and calculate that. So the whole idea here is being able to identify the principal, the interest rate, the number of years, and especially, most importantly, the number of compounds. If you follow this little chart, that'll tell you the number of compounds. You can use that for any problem that you're, that you're working on. So again, what you would do is do 365 times 5, that's the number you write down. Then you do the point zero five two five divided by 365, in this case, press enter. Add 1, press enter. Then take it to the whatever this power is, you've already written that down, press enter, then multiply by 25,000, you'll have your answer. It should be 32,000 something. Is it 32,503? Sounds about right. Plus one. Okay, I'll, I'll walk you through it one more time. Uh, this is the last time I'll, I'll show you how to do this on your calculator. Other than that, you can see me after class or come to office hours to do that. First thing you do is you do 365 times 5 and write that number down. So tell me what that is. 1825. 1825. Very good. Very good. Now, clear your calculator. Plug in 0.0525. Divide by 365 in this case. Press enter. Do you got that? Yeah. Plus one, enter. Or equals. You got that? Yeah. Should be 1.00 something. Mm -hmm. Now take it to the 1825th power. So to that, that's the caret button or the x, y, or the y, x. Press 1825. Press enter. It should still be one point something. You still have that? Now take times 25,000. That's what you do last. So you get 32,500 uh, something. 503 and 80 cents. By a show of hands, if you had a calculator, how many people got that? Good. Now I want you to look at the difference. Look at the board here real quick. 
look at the difference in the interest. This interest was calculated only getting interest added once a month. You with me on this? Yes, no? Yes. This interest was calculated every single day you got a little tacked on. Every day for, and this is over five years. This is once a, once a month for five years. This is every day for five years. Are they that different? No. Yes. Little. But no. No. Eighteen dollars. Nineteen dollars and ninety-nine uh, ninety-nine cents. But that's seventeen dollars. Seventeen dollars. Oh yeah, seventeen dollars. Is that a lot over the course of five years? No. no. So is is compounded monthly versus daily all that important? No. Well, you've got to be to the penny accurate, sure. But it's not going to make that much of a difference. What does make a huge difference in interest is two things. First, of course, the number of years. The number of years you have your loan for is a big deal. That's why when they say, well, we can lower your monthly payments, we'll just make it last two more years. You are going to end up paying a true, because I'll warn you right now, at a car dealership, you're going to walk in the door. If you never bought a new car, they're going to get you. You're going to walk in the door, they're going to go, how much do you want to spend a month? And yeah. you're, gonna, you're going to go, 200 bucks a month. And they're going to go, we can make that happen. They're just going to finance your $20,000 car over like eight years. You'll be paying for that car for eight years. It'll still be $200 a month, which is going to sound good to you. But over the long haul, you're going to be spending way, way more than what that car is worth. Do you get the idea? So that's how they, they would get you there. The number of years is huge. The second thing, most important thing, is the interest rate. If you jack up the interest rate, you pay a lot more over the course of how, whatever length of time you're going to spend. So interest rate, number of years. Okay, that's the two things that really affect it. The compounds, that it's, it's really not hurting you or helping you all that much. It's the interest rate and the number of years. Feel okay with the interest stuff? So you definitely need to know how to use your calculator, don't you? You're going to have problems like this on your test. Make sure you're able to do that. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about today, this is where we, we kind of end talking about real life stuff. This is the chapter that's going to help you in Math A and Math C. You're going to want to know this stuff. You're going to have a big leg up in Math A and Math C if you learn this stuff well. So we're going to, we're going to skip Chapter 8 and 9. We're going to go to Chapter 10. They do uh, 364 and a quarter days, 365 and a quarter days, usually. 